Yo, what is going on guys? It is A-Rose and I am back with another video. So for this video, we're going to be talking about the Houston Rockets, but more specifically, can the Houston Rockets now take down the Golden State Warriors after acquiring Carmelo Anthony? So yeah, I'm sure most of you are aware that Carmelo Anthony has now officially signed with the Houston Rockets and will join them forming a big three of James Harden, Chris Paul, and Carmelo Anthony. Now, Mike D'Antoni has recently stated that he plans, at least for now, he plans on bringing Carmelo Anthony off the bench and will give him a bench role at least to start the season. But I think, to be honest, at this point in Carmelo Anthony's career, this is perfect for him. He gets to play on a team that already without him is a contending team and nearly made it to the finals last year. They were one win away against Golden State from beating them. And now Carmelo Anthony can come off the bench. He has to play less minutes. He's not athletic enough in his career at this point. He was never an insane athlete, but especially at this point in his career, his athleticism and speed and quickness has taken a significant drop off. And there's just no way he can run in the starting lineup with a team like Golden State up and down the court. It's just not going to happen. So yeah, coming off the bench is just absolutely perfect for Carmelo at this point in his career, because I really do think he can still be a very big scoring threat just not in a starting lineup against a superior team in the Golden State Warriors or any top team in the West or Eastern Conference it's just not going to happen for Carmelo I think he has to accept that one of the main reasons why the Oklahoma City Thunder didn't work to, as according to plan last year is because of the fact that Carmelo demanded a starting role and demanded more shots when really he should have been taking a back seat to guys who are younger more athletic and quite frankly maybe even better obviously James Harden I think is a better player than Carmelo Anthony in my personal opinion but yeah if you were to ask me does the addition of Carmelo Anthony to this Houston Rockets team give them a better chance of beating the Warriors I really don't know it's hard to say you would think just on paper yeah you're adding Carmelo Anthony that's got to be an upgrade they have to be better now they were only one win away from beating them last year this has to put them over the top right well not necessarily because Carmelo is a different type of player you're not gonna really know what role he's gonna play even though he's playing a bench role you don't know if he's gonna end up sticking with that maybe he's gonna force his way into the starting lineup maybe it just won't work maybe Houston won't be able to win 60 plus games like they did last year we just really don't know but the one thing we do know is this and the Houston Rockets proved two things to the Golden State Warriors last year they proved one you no matter how good at shooting the basketball you are because the Rockets were the best shooting team in the league last year I'm pretty sure they made the most threes in the league and I think even had the highest percentage and they proved that you cannot outshoot the Warriors no matter how many threes you hit the guys on the Warriors will still always outshoot you. They're just all time greats you're competing against shooting wise. Curry, Clay, and Kevin Durant are three of the top five shooters in the history of the game, with Curry being number one in the history of the game. So you're clearly not going to outshoot this Golden State team. What you're going to do to beat them potentially is out tough them. That's the key. You have to out tough them. You can't outshoot them, but if you out tough them, you have a chance. And that's the second thing that the Rockets proved in the series last year. The reason why it went six seven games is because the Rockets played really tough and you could even make a pretty legitimate argument that if Chris Paul did not go down with an injury for games six and seven that the Rockets would have had a pretty good shot at closing out that series I would like to make that argument I think Chris Paul was the difference maker in that series James Harden kind of underperformed and I don't think he's really meant for these big series Chris Paul is a gritty tough player and shout out to PJ Tucker PJ Tucker along with Chris Paul played a hell of a series I mean those two guys were defensive nightmares on, and also offensive nightmares on both ends of the floor they played their hearts out in that series and it's the reason why the series went that many games to begin with but obviously the injury to Chris Paul was a devastating blow for Houston and it, they ultimately could not close it out to Golden State but yeah if Houston gets an opportunity to play Golden State in the playoffs and they come out with the same defensive grit and toughness that they showed last year in the conference finals and then they can find Carmelo Anthony a very nice bench role and he can be an effective bench player, then yes, I'm going to give them a very legitimate opportunity, just like I do the Lakers, to beat the Warriors in a series. Whether it'll happen, who knows, but I'm going to give them a shot. That's going to do it for this video. Make sure you let me know in the comments down below what you think about this. Be sure to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Check me out on Instagram as well. You'll see on the end screen. Uh, be sure to check me out there. Be sure to check out Sports Cases. Link will be in the description down below and make sure to use my promo code a rose for 10% off. With all that being said, I will catch you on the next video. Peace out.